Hi, Chris here from Clipfolio. If you're new to Clipfolio, it's a business dashboard application that runs completely in the cloud. You can use it to continuously monitor the performance of your business, getting answers to timely questions like, which sites are referring the most traffic to my website right now? And what are today's sales? Over 500 data sources like Google Analytics, Moz, and Twitter are currently being connected to Clipfolio dashboards. A majority of these data integrations are pre-built, easily accessible in our Clip Gallery, and customizable in our Clip Editor. Today I'm happy to introduce one of our newest data integrations, Zapier. Zapier enables you to connect web apps together, transfer data between them, automate tasks, see your data update when things happen, and be more productive. Clipfolio's integration with Zapier expands the list of web services that you can easily connect to your dashboard. And it enables you to create event-based data updates. So the data on your dashboard updates when something happens, rather than when data sources refresh. The link between two apps through Zapier is called a Zap. Here's how to quickly set up your first Zap in Clipfolio via the Clip Gallery. I'll use a Twitter Zap as an example. In the Clip Gallery, select Zapier Integration. Pick a pre-built Zap. The clip template will pop up on your dashboard and you'll be given the option to set up this Zap through Zapier. Choose the Twitter account you want to use. You'll be asked to authorize the use of your Twitter account by providing your username and password. Next, you'll set up triggers for the specific terms that you want to monitor. You can set up triggers for Twitter handles, hashtags, or keywords. When a tweet mentions the trigger you specify, your Clipfolio data source and your clip will get updated. I'll use the Clipfolio Twitter handle. Now I'll authorize Zapier to access my Clipfolio account by providing my unique API key. To find your Clipfolio API key, go into your account. You'll see your API key under General Information. Pop that into the API key field provided by Zapier. Next, we'll select the data source in Clipfolio that we want updated when our Twitter event takes place. I'll select Twitter Mentions via Zapier. And I'll save that. And now my Zap's turned on. As a final step, we'll test the trigger and send it to Clipfolio, where we can now go to see our new clip powered by our new Zap. This is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the clips and dashboards you can build with Clipfolio and Zapier. And we'll be adding a lot of new Zapier templates to the Clip Gallery in the days ahead. And as always, there's little limit on what you can build on your own outside the Clip Gallery. Head over to Zapier and experiment. We can't wait to see what you'll build.